Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel, Creative Hands by Shea. So in today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a cute, lightweight uh, granny stitch cardigan. So uh, you don't need a lot of materials. I am just using one color uh, yarn to make this cardigan. I am actually using 100% cotton and I am using, uh, well, this is the yarn that I am using. I actually got it from Timu and it is it is very fine so i actually double the strand to make it be like a finger weight yarn so i will be doubling these together uh to make the panels so uh you will need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook you will also need a darning needle scissors and also a measuring tape so guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I hope that you will love what you see and you will stay here with me. To my regular viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for always being here, guys. So I will be listing more information about this video uh, into the description box. So you can check that out before you start so you can get all your materials and the amount of yarn that I will be using to complete this cardigan. So guys, let's jump in the video. So guys, I went ahead and I made one of the panels and I am just going to show you what it looks like. So this is actually the back panel and I did a total of 40 rows and um, I'm just going to do the measurement so you can see how long this is. So this is measuring 27 inches long. And depending on how wide or you want your cardigan to be, um, this one is measuring 18 inches wide. So you can see it there. It is measuring 18 inches wide. I think um, that is wide enough for me. So I will start with making the um, the front panels. Uh, so I will be making um, half of this. So I will be doing. 20 uh, rows for the front panel so if you are starting with the back panel remember we are going to do 40 rows for the back panel and you're just going to follow the same exact step of how i am going to be doing with making the um front panel so i'm just going to lay this aside for now and i am going to start on my panel here so I'm doubling the strands so to begin you will uh, make a slip knot so you can make your slip knot however you feel comfortable and then you are going to chain 136 so it's depending on how long you want your cardigan to be um, so this cardigan is gonna be like over um, the bum so that is the length that I am putting this cardigan so I'm just gonna continue chaining away until I get to 136 and I'll meet back up with you so guys, now I have come to my 136 um, chains. So now what you're going to do is you are going to go into the second chain from the one on the hook and you're going to put one single crochet. And in each and every stitches along, you will be putting one single crochet. So I'm just going to continue doing this until I get to the end and I'll meet back up with you. So there it is. So guys, and now I have come to the end of making my single crochets and this is what it looks like so far. So now moving along, you will go ahead and chain up one, two, three. You will turn your work, yarn over, 
go into the next stitch, so which is this one here, because this chain three is gonna count as our first double crochet. You're gonna go into that stitch, make one double crochet, go into the next and make one double crochet. Let me just redo this. You're gonna chain two, skip two, go into the third and make one double crochet. So you'll be doing clusters of three, so that's one, two, and then three. Chain up two, skip two, go into the third, and repeat the same step. And you will continue doing this right down to the end, and I will meet you back there. So this is like the foundation uh, part of the granny stitch. So I'm just gonna continue doing that, and I'll see you at the end. So guys, and now I have reached the end here and I have three stitches remaining. And to finish off this row here, we're gonna chain up two as usual. And into the last stitch, we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna put one double crochet in that stitch. And that completes our row here. So now we are going to chain up three, one, two, three. You're gonna turn your work, you're gonna yarn over, and because we have our chain up three there, we are only gonna put two double crochet here. So that's one and two because the chain of three counts as our first double crochet. Now you're gonna chain two, and you're gonna skip here, going to this chain two space, and make three double crochets. So that's one, two, and three. Chain up two, go into the next chain two space, and you're gonna put three double crochets. And you're just basically gonna continue doing that right until you get to the end, and I'll meet you back there. So there it is. So guys, and now I have come to the end here, and um, I am going to be chaining one and two. And what I'm gonna do is, you can either work on top of this chain up two here, or to make it easier, you can just go in into like underneath that stitch, like this. If you're having difficulties in, in going into the top of that chain three. But that is how I am going to end the row and I'm gonna chain up one, two, and three. Turn your work. So whenever you reach to this part, this is how you will end your row, and you will chain up three, and remember, you will only put two double crochet into that stitch because the chain, the chain up three there counts as our first double crochet. Chain two. and repeat the same steps, making three double crochet into the chain two space, chain up two, go into the next space, and make, again, a cluster of three double crochet. So you will repeat this until you get to 40 rows and that is counting from this uh, foundation part here so not the single crochet but this one so 40 rows if you're doing the back panel first and if you're doing the front panel 
that will be 20 rows. So you're just going to continue doing this. Once you get to the end here, you will make your last cluster here of three. You will chain two and then one double crochet on top of our chain three space or you can do it in between under here. So I am just going to continue doing that and once I get to my 20 then I will meet back up with you. Because I am doing the panel, the front panel. So I'll see you there guys. So guys now I have come to my last stitch here and I have my chain up two. I'm going to make my last double crochet. So now I have completed one of my next panel here and this is what it looks like so far. So um, if you're doing the back panel you should have completed 40 rows and once you have completed your 40 rows you are going to do one row of single crochet so just as we did at the beginning here you're going to do one row of single crochet right down and then fasten off but if you're doing the panel first uh, you will just fasten off now so i'm just going to chain one fasten off and i am going to show you how to make the sleeve just gonna lay this aside I have already went ahead and I made one of my sleeve and this is the width of my sleeve here so um, when you fold this over this is gonna be the length of the sleeve uh, depending on how long you want your sleeve to be I, I just kind of measure it on my arm and I did a total of 31 rows so I'll show you how to do this and it's basically just the same uh, with this one, I didn't do any uh, foundation for the, like a uh, single crochet foundation. I just started uh, my rows. So I'm going to lay that aside and I am going to go ahead and chain up 86. So once I am at my 86, I will meet back up with you. So guys, now I've come to my 86 chains and so now we're going to yarn over and we're going to skip one, two, three, go into the fourth stitch and make one double crochet. And that, ch that um, three chains that we skipped there is going to count as our first double crochet. You're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch and make one more double crochet. Chain up two, skip two, go into the third, make one, into the next stitch, one, cr double crochet, into the next stitch, one more double crochet. So you're just basically repeating what we did when we were making the panel. Chain up two again, skip two, go into the third stitch, make one double crochet, into the next, one double crochet, and into the next, one more double crochet. And that completes our cluster of three. You're going to continue doing this until you get to the end and I'll meet you there. So guys, and now I have come to the end part here. I'm going to skip two and I have my three stitches remaining. And I'm just going to make three double crochet. One, two, and three. And that completes my row. So there it is. I had to join my yarn here so uh, now we are going to chain up one two and three you're gonna turn your work and into this uh, space here you are going to make three double crochet 
So that's one, two, and three. Chain two, repeat the same step, three double crochet into the chain two space. One, two, and three. You're gonna repeat this all the way to the end. And once you get here, I'll meet you back there. So guys, and now I am at the end here and I'm gonna chain up two, yarn over, and just as we were doing before, we are gonna make a double crochet here. And that finish off our second row. Chain up three, turn your work, two double crochet in this chain two space. And that completes a cluster, chain up two, Skip this cluster, go into the chain two space here, and make three double crochets. And you're basically just gonna do that until you get to 31 rows, and I'll meet back up with you. So this is my sleeve that I am doing. You will need a total of two sleeves. So you can Get all your panels together and meet back up with me and I'll show you how to put them together. So guys, and now I have come to the end here of my sleeve and I'm just going to put my last double crochet here and I have now completed um, my second sleeve. So if you have not yet completed your second sleeve, you can go ahead and do so. I am just gonna fasten off, and this is what the sleeve looks like so far. And it is measuring so it is measuring 14 inches uh, long. And uh, make sure that, as I stated, make sure that you measure it around your arm to see that. It is fitting quite nice. So this is what it looks like when it folded. So I'm just gonna lay that aside for now and move on to making, uh, well, putting the back panels together, back panels and the front panel. So um, this is my back panel and front panel here. So uh, what you will do is you will lay your front panel, making sure that the wrong side is facing upward here and the back panel making sure the wrong side is um, the right side I should say facing upward this way because when you turn it over it's gonna go like this so then it's gonna be all on the right side so uh, what you're gonna do is you are going to sew this part up and what you're gonna do is you are going to sew, um, you're gonna sew 13 squares, uh, well, not squares, but 13 clusters together. So you're just gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So we are going to stop right here. So let me put my stitch marker you're going to do the same thing on the other side as well so we're just going to sew come right up to this part you can use your darning needle to do this or you can use your hook to do the sewing anyone that feels uh, more comfortable or more faster for you to go you can do that you can do some whip stitches or just however you want to sew it but just make sure that you sew this part up to this part here so I am just going to go ahead and attach my yarn. I'm going to use a 3.5 hook to do this part here. And I'm making sure that I go into the edges and attach. I did 
my chain one and I'm going to give it a tie. And then just do some slip stitches, making sure that you're going into the front panel and the back panel at the same time. When you get to this part that has the chain up three, you can just go under there and put two single crochets. So you're going to continue doing this right up until you get to where your stitch marker is. And I will meet you back there. So I'm going to continue doing this and I'll see you there. So guys, now I have come to the end of doing my slip stitches here and I'm just going to do my last one. And I'm going to chain one and chain another and fasten off. Just kind of making it secured. So I went ahead and I sewed down both my panels and this is what it looks like when you turn it over. Kind of have a little opening like that. And what we're gonna do now is you are gonna lay your work flat. Let me do on this side so you can see it better. So you're going to lay it flat like this and now you are going to work on your sleeve, installing your sleeves on. Again you can use your needle to do this part and what you're going to do is make sure that your sleeve is on the right side, the wrong side facing upward and the right side under. Just checking to see okay so that's my right side okay and what you're gonna do is you are going to make sure that your sleeve is um, even up on both sides so I am just gonna count one two three four five six seven eight nine Sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 into this space. So um, you're going to count on this side as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And there is a space there. Make it be 16. So we are going to start this side right here. You have to make sure that you have the same amount on this side as well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So counting on this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So this one is going to stop here. And you're going to do the same thing for the next sleeve. And you can use a stitch marker to give you some leverage here in the middle. Put this part together. And you can use your darning needle again or your hook. So I am just going to attach my hook on this side and repeat the same step. So I am just going to continue to do this, repeating what I did when we were joining the front and back panels. So I'll see you there. So guys, I now I've come to the end of sewing up both my sleeves together. And this is what it looks like. So this is the right side here. 
And now what we're going to do is we are going to fold that into half. That is the sleeve. And we are going to sew from this end all the way down to this part here. But we are going to leave out just a little part. So I'm just going to count one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so I'm not counting the inner part here. I'm just counting the clusters of three. So one, two, three, four, and five. And I am going to put a stitch marker there because I am going to leave a little split right there. So it's going to be like this. So we are going to join our sleeve. So from here, you can see here where it's joined. So get your hook or your needle and attach. Make sure that you're going into the end. chain one give it a tie and you're gonna repeat the same step as you were doing before making single crochets or you can even do um, single sorry making slip stitches or you can even do uh, single crochets uh, right along the side so I'm just gonna go in here make a slip stitch and continue making well, when I get to this part here, I am just going to do my single crochet. So two single crochet into that part and continue doing that all the way down until you get to where we mark here with our stitch marker. So I'm going to continue doing that and I will see you at the end. So sew them right down. Make sure when you are sewing this part, make sure that it is joined up with the other part here so that it is, it is even. So I'll see you there, guys. So guys, and now I have come to the end here of my stitches. Well, my slip stitches. And I'm just going to make my last one in here. Chain one. And then fasten off. So there you have the little split there. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So I'm just going to turn it over. And you can see that nice sewing there. And I went ahead and I did both sleeves. So you should have both sleeves all sewn together now. So this is the other side. Just gonna turn it around so you can see it better because we're gonna do some single crochets to finish off our cardigan and all those loose tail ends we have to sew those in so this is what it looks like on the right side So that's the neckline in there and this part that is going to be flipped over so it's looking super cute um, and I honestly love the way how this turned out so far and we're not yet done so we are going to do some single crochets and I am thinking on where to start with my single crochet and we are going to do our single crochets on the right side so, hmm. I'm not sure where I'm going to start it yet. So, let me just see. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to start it from this end. So I'm going to start from here because we want to do some single crochet just to clean up these edges here. So I'm going to start from this tail end here. Um, I think this is the, uh, let me see, this is the right side. So I'm going to start from the right side. And I'm going to join my yarn. going to use my 4.5 so I'm going to go into this part here where we started our first single crochet join the yarn there chain one give it a tie and remember you're doing the single crochets on the right side so this is the bottom part of the cardigan here And we're going to weave this tail in, in as we go along. So we are going to go under. And we're going to put two single crochet here. Then one into that bump area. And then two into the chain three space. One and two, one on the bump area. If you can't get it there, you can just kind of go over it and make two. So I'll just continue doing this and I'll see you once I get to this part here. So now I have come to the end part here and I'm just going to put three single crochet into that space to kind of make it have a curve. And then into that double crochet, we will go on top of that double crochet and make a single crochet. We will put two single crochet into this space on top of the double crochet you will put a single crochet into each stitches there it is once you get to your chain two you will put two single crochet there it's one and two and into your on top of your double crochet you will put a double a single crochet in those stitches so continue doing that right up to the top and I'll meet you there so guys now I am right up to the top here so this is where we are up to the neck lining and we are going to put three single crochet here so that's one two and we're gonna work over this tail end and three and then continue to make single crochets so that's one two and I don't think I can get three more so I'm just gonna go over into this chain three space and make one single crochet two single crochet and continue to make your single crochets all the way around Once you get to this part here, you will make your single crochet right down 
and go over and continue making single crochet all the way on the neckline and come back down on this side you will repeat the same thing here well this part is a little bit different so you will just uh, probably put uh, two single crochet or three if three can hold in there you can put three but I'll meet you back once I am at this tip here so I'm just gonna continue doing my single crochets and I'll meet you there so guys now I am back on the next side here and this is what it looks like so far with the neckline in you can see that good and now we are going to go into the tip part here so I one I can get I think I can get three in there two and three and then continue making single crochets on top of each double crochets two single crochets into the chain two space and repeat the same steps all the way down to the end and back to the so you're gonna go all the way down to the end here and across down the bottom and finish off here where we have our split so I'm gonna continue doing that and I'll see you there so guys and now I have come to the end here and I am just gonna make my last stitch I'm gonna change my hook because it's a little bit too tight here and I'm gonna make one there and finish off with one at the extreme end I'm gonna chain one and fasten off And that completes the bottom part here and all the way around but I wanted to put more um, rows for the neck lining and the part that will be um, flipped over like that I wanted to put um, at least probably two more rows so what I'm gonna do is I am going to join so I'm gonna look for that one that is at the immediate end which would be this stitch here and I'm gonna start I'm gonna use a smaller hook and this time I will be working from the inner part so we work on the outer part which is the right side no I will be working on the inner part uh, to um, do our single crochets upward chain one give it a tie and what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one And into each and every single crochets I am going to make one single crochet on top of that and you're gonna go continue doing that all the way around until you get to the next end and then you will repeat the same thing so I'm gonna do two more rows of this so remember you're not gonna go on the end part here you're just going to put the two rows um just on the inner part go right around so i hope i'm not confusing you you're not going to go on the tail end you're just doing the rows on the inner part so i'm going to see what my two rows looks like and then uh, if it looks good enough for me then I will stop there if not I will probably add one more rows to it so I'm going to continue doing this and I will see you at the end of my rows there it is guys so guys and now I have come back down to the end here and 
I think this is where I am going to stop. I'm not going to put another rule onto this part here. So I did two rules. So I have a total of three rules here. The first one that we did. And then remember I told you that I was going to do two more rules or three rows but I will be stopping here so let me just chain one pull that up for a little bit and I'm going to show you what it looks like so there it is guys so that's the neck lining and this part is going to flip over like this I hope you can see that well and then I'm thinking about probably putting a button or a brooch somewhere down this part here, like a little pin or something, but I will decide later on. So I am just going to work on the other parts and then we're going to be done. So I'm going to work on the, on the sleeve here. I'm going to put two rows of single crochet on both sleeves. And we have the back panel here that we did not do any single crochet on. We're going to do a row of single crochet there. So we just need to finish up that. And then we will be done with our card again. So um, I think I'm going to use my 3.5 hook here just to go into this um, part here where we did our first... Uh, chain up one. I'm going to go inside there just to kind of give it a cleaner cut. So there it is. I'm going to chain one and then fasten off. And we can weave that in. So we're going to weave it in like this. I'm going to bring it down so that it has a nice curve under. So let me just lay that part aside and start onto the sleeve. So you're gonna start where the joining is. So just as we did before, we're just basically doing the same thing. I think I'm gonna have trouble with that. So I'm just gonna use this to get through. I don't wanna waste my yarn, so I don't wanna have too much tail end dangling. Chain one, let me just hold it. Oh no. Okay, chain one. Give it a tie. And then I can use this. And we are going to work over our tail end here. So basically, you're just going to go into this stitch here. I hope you can see that well and just do your regular single crochets so where you have our chain two space you're gonna put two single crochet there and then single crochet on top of the double crochets so continue doing that right around once you get to the end you will chain one and start another row so I'm going to complete that and I will see you at the end so remember, you're just going to basically do the same thing for the um, back panel. Just attach your yarn just as we did before, just as I show you, and make your, your single crochets right across and finish off there. So I'm going to continue doing this and I'll meet back up with you when I'm finished. So guys, and now I have come to the end of doing my single crochets for the back panel here. And this is what it looks like so far. So now I am just going to, I did went ahead and cut my yarn off. So I'm just going to pull up on my yarn like this. And I'm going to weave the tail end in. So I'm going to get my needle. I am just gonna do it like this hopefully it works okay it does it did work so I am just gonna go under 
here and finish weave that part in and I am basically finished making uh, this top so if you have any tail ends remaining to be weaved in now is the time to go ahead and weave those in and you should be all set and ready to wear your cardigan so I'm just going to show you what it looks like So there are both my sleeves. So you can see what both part here looks like. And you can use, I have this cute little brooch here. And I'm just going to pin that here so you can get the idea of what I'm talking about to use like a brooch to pin here. Or you don't have to, you can just wear it just like that. Okay, so there it is guys. It is looking super cute and this brooch is super cute as well. This cute little butterfly. It is looking super cute. So guys, I hope that you love this tutorial and you love the way how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Uh, and again, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe, hit this notification. <laughs> hit that notification bell so you can be notified each time i post a video until next time guys bye